Eve, can I ask, uh, you were obviously at the coalface with the Lions against the Springboks this summer. Were you surprised the way that Australia dealt with them, beating them twice, the way they did, especially the way they did in the second test when they played really an open style of rugby and it was very effective? Yeah, look, I, th I thought they played some really, really good rugby. Um, and how and the end they beat the world champions twice is is an outstanding achievement. And that's where probably coming into the weekend, we know that we, we're going to have to be on the money. We're going to have to be like where we were in around Six Nations, beating France and, and, and things like that. So we know we're going to have to perform, but we do believe in, in, in ourselves and how we can implement our own game. And it's, it's going to be um, an outstanding test match for us. Yeah, they are going to be missing three key players, though, who haven't been released from Japan. Is that going to be a major factor, I'm thinking particularly Quade Cooper, who has had a very good uh, rugby championship? Yeah, he's played really well. And look, I think the depth they've got, they got. I think James O'Connor's back. Um, and, and again, they've, they've got depth and experience right across the team. And look, everyone's missing boys. You could look at, we, we've got boys missing as well. And I think that's part of sport, the international sport as well. It's, it's about that depth and it's, it's about the opportunity, and I got no doubt, like us, we will represent Scotland or Aussie jerseys. They, they, they're going to give it their utmost, and it's going to be um, a, a real outstanding test match.